Hello, family. Thank you for coming over to the house tonight. And just kick off your shoes and relax your feet. Party on down to the SKB. We're kicking. Just kick it. Just kick it. Okay, you don't come to another episode where we're going to be asking the question of... Why are you telling my business? Don't be telling my business. Hmm. Why not? Because a can-can and a can-can, a can-can, a can-can, and a wheel. Now we're off to... Hello, everyone, and thank you for coming back to the channel. Yes, Delp Snails 48th World, where we get down, we talk about everybody, and anytime we feel like it. And I guess you're asking yourself, why? Because a can can, and a can can, a can can, a can can, and a wheel. Let's get on into this story. Hopefully, y'all had a wonderful, amazing Friday. The entire day, okay? Or you might be snugged up in the bed watching a movie. And then you heard the notification bell on your phone. And you wanted to come over here and see me. I'm happy to see you. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Now, honey, baby, we are going to sit and we're going to talk a little bit about Candy and Mardo Hampton. And why Kenya is sitting somewhere laughing her ass off. And I'm like, can you go on and just enjoy your relaxation, okay? Let the other people do the work for a change. That's right. Can you sit down and watch everything twirl around you? And you're not even doing the twirling. Okay, girl. It's these two nuts, okay? We're going to talk about face right now. That's another whole video. <laughs> but we all going to talk about Miss Candy, though. Miss Candy, girl. Yes, and how she feeling about what Marlo Hampton said about her. Now I'm like, Cam, you know you got the bomb life. Hell, all y'all got the bomb life over there at Real Housewives of Atlanta. Okay, show and prove, show and prove. And that's what we need from you. You've always coasted through the show. Whether you want to say it or want to admit to it or not, it's a given fact. Are you the queen at keeping them bags together and, and adding more too? Yes, we can't take that from you. No, we can't. Okay? You definitely branded yourself. And you are definitely funneling this money into other projects. And I ain't got nothing wrong with that. I don't. But like Marlo said, we need a little bit more. We need a little bit more. More, 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 more. Okay? We don't need uh, Mama Joyce to come up here and save you on Real Housewives of Atlanta. Because we know Mama Joyce will show and prove. Huh? She would tear everybody down. She will tear the whole damn state down if she had to. <laughs> <laughs> just to keep your peach safe. Because your mama is just like that. And I ain't got nothing wrong with that. Come like that with my daughter too. But when my daughter acting foolish and doing foolish stuff, I call her out. I shut shit down, okay? You ain't finna embarrass me. Because they look at the parents when kids go out and do this, that, and the third. Or young adults go out there and do this, that, this, that, and the third. They be looking at the parents. They come all the way to go full circle. They go on back to the childhood. And if y'all don't know who the Jasmine brand is, go on over there and Patreon her channel. When I say Patreon, I mean just go over there, look at it, see if what you like it or not. And then add her to your collection of YouTubers you like to watch. She's a good girl. And she does nice work over there. Because we always, you know, look go over there, you know, when stuff is dry and I can't find it. I go over there and peek around the bushes, you know what I'm saying? Sit on sidelines and see what I can get. And I can make it mine, you know what I'm saying? I don't believe in nobody taking somebody else's story and saying the exact thing. You know what I'm saying? You got to take a story and make it your own, okay? But anyway, we're going to go back to these two couples, okay? <laughs> I was like, girl, Marlo, get in that ass. That's right. Make candy show and prove. We know everything ain't perfect. Peaches and cream up down in that uh, Burr's Tucker residence. No, 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 no. We know it ain't. Because Todd just be doing too much uh, crazy shit around him. Trying to show us this half done, uh, was it New Jersey or New York apartment? I ain't got nothing in there. I like, girl, he know how to mess up some money. That's all I can say. He knows how to mess up your money or the money that y'all make together by working on certain projects. And I know that I know it get on your nerve, girl. I know it get on your nerve, Candy. But you can't show too much because you don't want to get embarrassed out in the streets. But I tell you, one thing for sure and two things for certain. Hell, I will be clowning on his ass in public. If he's making me lose revenue, you can mess uh, 
best to rest assured that I'm going to come back with the comeback. Now, if he has to go other places and get himself together, then so be it. You know what I'm saying? You work too hard for your money. You work too hard to uh, put your money where my Riley need to go to college. You're paying for that tuition for her. Then you got two more kids if they decide to go to college. You know, cause I know you want them parents that like, do you, baby? Do you? Do you? Okay. Because I'm there, you know, with you 100%. But I would prefer you to go to school so you could be a well rounded individual. You could see more perspectives about life and situations. You know, but then again, you might go up there and flunk the hell out first semester. Then I'm going to pull your ass out anyway. And you're going to go to a local college. And if that don't work, then yeah, we're going to start your little business. We're going to put you in some little training courses so you can know how to handle your business. You know what I'm saying? Because we don't know what Blaze and, and uh, Ace may do. You know what I'm saying? I can see Ace in films, you know, uh, directing and stuff like that. Because he likes to be in front of the TV and the camera, you know what I'm saying? He asks questions, and that's a good job. When you ask questions, you don't just go tear up shit and be like, well, I didn't know. No, Ace go and ask the questions. So Candy and her family are definitely doing a good job with raising him. Um, Todd would just be there for him to raise him how a man should do certain things, you know what I'm saying? Cause we question some of um, Todd's abilities as well. But, you know, his dad is in the house. His daddy need to form him on how to be a gentleman. Hopefully, he's teaching him that. Not how to be a man, but how to be a gentleman. Okay? A gentleman. Then we, we know, uh, Candy, um, I don't know. I don't know about Baby Blaze because she look like she don't take no shit. She get look at you with them eyes like, you must be crazy as hell. You think I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? She didn't give me that. I like that. That's on, that's on Bertha and uh, Mama Joyce in that Blaze. She going to take out the their mannerisms. <laughs> Blaze ain't gonna take no shit on nobody. You hear me? Cause she already got them candy girl eyes. <laughs> her whole expression, her whole demeanor just gives me don't fuck with me. <laughs> so she it's gonna be some crazy times just watching them grow up like we saw Riley grow up. But Riley was like more so an introvert. Uh, and she probably still is that way a little bit, but she definitely don't want to be disturbed. <laughs> she don't want to be disturbed by Candy, her grandmama, hell, her whole family. <laughs> she might lean to giving some understanding, uh, to, uh, baby Ace, because she got a chance to actually be evolved into him. And he was the first one coming out of a marriage with her new husband, or her husband, Todd, because she wasn't married to Block, but... I'm still questioning how the hell she got with big-ass block. You know what I'm saying? Like, what would you think of, girl? Was he laying the pipe down that good? Because, uh-uh. That's his mannerisms and how he talked. Like, he need oxygen connected to his chest. Okay? Where it's right there. Because it seems like he going, every time he say a couple of words or a couple of phrases or sentences, he's like, he gasping for air. Yes, Lord. So, um, yeah, I don't know what, um, what Candy was doing when she met that little man. But, um... Like I said, you can't judge nobody for their past. You could talk about them, but you, you shouldn't judge people for their past. Just live in the moment as a present and look forward to the future. Okay, that's what I always say. Cause everybody got a past. And, you know, nine, nine times out of ten, some shady shit going on. But it's called birthing. It's called birthing pains and uh, learning from your experiences. So you don't make the same silly mistakes that you made earlier on in your livelihood. You know, when you're in your teens and in your uh, early 20s, you know, we know things ain't going to conspire. We know things ain't gonna come together full circle for you because you out there, you're trying to test yourself, test your limitations. Then you're looking at how other people move and shape, and somehow you are forming through those years. What the hell? That's what you're supposed to be doing. You're not supposed to be going out here and tearing up shit and just continue to tear up shit when you're in your 50s and 60s thinking somebody's gonna appreciate you. Hell no. Okay, get it together. Get it together. Okay, or leave it alone. Um, but, uh, yeah, Marlo, <laughs> I'm like, I need Marlo to find her balance between her personality and how she's trying to, um, emulate, uh, Nini's persona, you know what I'm saying? And then maybe, uh, Nini emulated Marlo's persona. I, I even thought about that. I even questioned that. I said, oh, now that is plausible because, you know, Nini have to hang around certain people to do certain things because, you know, like she got the gay community. She pimped out that gay community. I don't tell what nobody said. I don't think Nene had one friend. I don't think she had a friend in the regular uh, 
uh, way of thinking as well. But no, I think Nene uses gay people to tell their secrets of how they can get people, you know, together. You know what I'm saying? She hang around them for a certain reason. Now, I'm not saying she hate or she despise gay people. I ain't that ain't what came out of my mouth. I said, I think she's using them to get those quick uh, responses back when you're trying to get somebody together. And I think that's wrong because you need to come in your own. You know, like y'all say, I'll be reading people down for fear, but I, I just be telling my truth. <laughs> I'm saying I just be giving it to you like I'm giving it to you when shit upsets me or when shit just uh it's just my ass I got to get it to somebody else you know what I'm saying I got to get into that person and let them know feel my pain I want them to feel it just me speaking it to them I ain't got to put my hands on you but by the time I finish talking to you about whatever you did and made me upset you're gonna wish I had to put my hands on you that's how I am you know what I'm saying I'm an old school I'm a uh 1968 baby so you know what I'm saying we grew up a lot a little different from other people okay we had a, a foundation we built on it and then we became who we are you know what i'm saying but now these kids coming out coming out the womb talking and, and, and walking you know what i'm saying it's just it's scary some scary times we in but i digress i i, I got off track i'm sorry <laughs> we need to talk about marlo and candy yes candy really has been just floating through just like cynthia from the induction of her even being on the the tv show she has floated. And see, we got tired of Cynthia floating. And then she was straddling the fence and shit. She never would pick a side. She always wanted to go with the winning side. And she had to figure out which one that was. And then she chose that side. No, we need you to just come straight down in the middle. Yay or nay. You with that person or you not with that person. And Cynthia could never pull that off. And that's why she's going, bye bye. But I think she's doing pretty good. She's uh, over there doing some, um, I guess, some modeling for somebody. And then she's trying to get her foot wet with the acting scene. And I, 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 I'm proud of her. I ain't got no shame for her. She ain't need to be on this show no more. Because she's finding who she is in the latter part of her age. You see what I'm saying? It's always a, a different plateau you must go through before you end this world. If that's what you want to do, you want to find out what your true meaning is. What are you providing uh, for us that you're leaving as a le legacy? You know what I'm saying? It ain't got to be money all the time. It could be worldly advice, you know? So uh, I, I, I caught that movie on Lifetime. I forgot what it was, but it's in my uh, archives of videos. She did an excellent job for her just starting off with me seeing her trying to act you know what i'm saying she has a little small little cameo part but she made it do what it, it you know she made it believable she made it believable uh when it, it got heightened in the um uh, the, the latter part of the show that i was watching but uh yeah i could see her doing a little bit more commercials you know for well-known brands because she hadn't done anything to make her not be a seller to the people you know what i'm saying she could be a household name i don't know what she would say or maybe because that wine cooler shit ain't happening i tasted that shit that was oh that was some nasty ass stuff they sent the uh you couldn't have got a really fruity fruity taste girl that's like oh it's nasty but anyway i digress but i think she does uh she will work in the um acting field uh, I don't know how her memory is when it's uh, geared to learning lines of this, that, and the third, but it just is what it is. But yes, uh, Marlo had every right and good intention to call bullshit. And I'm glad she's calling the bullshit. It's better she call it than Kenya call it. Because Kenya want to be on her ass too about them draws, of them vibrating panties and stuff. Next, she's going to be having something to, to make the titties stick up and percolate. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, God damn, Kenya. You only have a certain base. They want to hear about that shit 24-7. You only have a certain base of individuals that want to hear. I mean, may bring back your candy coat at nights and talk about that shit. But I, we don't want to hear about it no more. It's a dead horse. You ain't got to keep uh, bringing it up. You ain't got to keep showing and proving. Because I'm with Kenya. And um, who uh, will? Well, I can't. Uh, who will? Uh, well, Sanya didn't really say anything about it, but Kenya had a lot to say about it. You don't need to be sending no half-ass naked people to nobody's doorstep and, and trying to promote your goods. There's several other ways you can do that. Just like you did that kaleidoscope uh, advertisement when Ken and the gang was on. Uh, and she was doing some stuff with the brat and um, baby Ju Big Booty Judy. That's their brand, or Big Booty Judy's brand, uh, with the kaleidoscope. Yeah, you know th that was tastefully. That was tastefully done, and I love seeing the uh, intermission where you came on talking about it. But this damn sex toy shit, like that, nobody's feeling that candy because somebody don't. Sometimes you don't want to get with your man or your woman. You know what I'm saying? When they acting funky. You know what I'm saying? I'm going you got on your nerve. They ain't pay the bills. Like they said, they're going to pay the bills. Like they went out there and got a speed ass ticket. They don't want to do no sex. 
They don't want to have no rough sex. They don't want to have nothing to do with sex. Okay. So, girl, get on a magazine cover or something with that. It's, but the, we don't want to hear that shit. I don't want to see it or hear about it on Housewives of Atlanta. I really don't. It don't play its course. You know, uh, total whole, total road, or whatever I'm trying to say. I'm confused. I'm taping it almost 12 midnight. But anyway, uh, a whole, uh, let me see. Shit, I can't think of it right now. I, I'll come back to that thought. But uh, let's just take a little listen. Because Carlos King wants to start this shit. Yes, he did. Carlos King started the shit, and that's where we are in Shitsville. Because he let Marlo open that door, and even Carlos King, he didn't really come out directly and say it. But he agreed with Marlo that Candace really been coasting since she's been on the show. And she hadn't really been giving us, you know, some good fights or whatnot. You know, she's letting us believe everything is hunky-dory over there at the Burr's Tucker residence. Well, we know good and goddamn well it's not. She's fussing with the nanny. She's fussing with her assistant. Uh, she might be fussing with Todd 24-7. See, that's the shit we want to know. That's livable. You know what I'm saying? That's agreeable. We can relate to that shit. You know what I'm saying? For us who got boyfriends, us who got husbands, or us who just, you know, want to be to themselves and shit. You know what I'm saying? Everything is not perfect. It's going to be chaos. Even if it don't happen but three times out of the week, okay? It's going to be some type of chaos and some kind of uh, backstabbing going on. And we need to see that candy. We need to see it, girl. Don't be all up in other somebody else's Kool-Aid or how they getting down. No, we we need to see yours too. You know, cause I know shit ain't clean. Everything ain't squeaky clean over there, girl. And what reality TV is, it's it's supposed to be reality, not rehearsed. Like y'all trying to have that fight about that damn apartment. Who gives a shit about that condo apartment he has? Okay, Saturday. Well, I finna say something else, but I might, you know, I, <laughs> it might censor me. But yes, yeah, just say the shit. Uh, 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 do a B air and B with it. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta ever step foot in that shit no more. Let's talk. Go and have its fun, cause y'all have an open relationship anyway. So you shouldn't really be worried about it. You open up the door, you made the house, and now you gotta live in it, sleep in it, candy birds. Okay. But anyway, let's go and see what uh Marlo had to say. There and she's like, Hey, I'm gonna teach you guys all how to uh, contribute to a play and become a producer, how to get a restaurant, do some shit for the black culture. We got enough babies and diseases out here, we don't need no shit else about sex, Candy. You done fuck, you fucked out in Atlanta, okay? And I'd have plenty too, like you say. But girl, and if Candy would just focus on now, say if we went there and she was like, Hey, I'm gonna teach you guys all how to. Uh, contribute to a play and become a producer, how to get a restaurant, do some shit for the black culture. We got enough babies and diseases out here. We don't need no <laughs> shit else about sex, Candy. You done fu you fucked out in Atlanta, okay? And I done had plenty too, like you say. But now, now I can say this now. Some people don't like to tell their trademark secrets of how they get down, how they make their money, this, that, and the third, you know, because they still trying to build their empire and they don't need no competition. So I can see why Candy don't want to have a speaking class on uh, how to achieve certain landmarks, such as businesses, such as uh, saving your money, or even production. Because she don't really have it together where everything is tight, where she feels comfortable, I believe, that she can go and uh, do these workshop type things. Because it takes time. And with her doing a lot, with acting and promoting her sex toy line and then trying to be on the Real Housewives of Atlanta, it is overwhelming. It could be overwhelming. And maybe that's something Candy would do when she wants to really step back and be a producer or whatever. Uh, but then it's, it's going to cost you now. It's going to cost you because, hey, when you're spending your own time and, and attention and your talents and you're trying to uh, give other people a lift up, it, it takes, you know, it's, it's very scrutinizing and, and you have to have the right people on your team to get the right results you want. Even if you don't want to be a public speaker when it comes to that type of realm of existing, um, like I'm pretty sure she could talk to Kenya Moore. Kenya Moore can help her out with all that stuff, but Kenya Moore want to check from that as well. Uh, so 
And then, you know, some people just like that. They don't want to give out their trade secrets. They just want to continue building, building, building. They'll teach their family members, you know, but they're not necessarily going to teach, you know, your coworker that you work with or your constituent. You know what I'm saying? So that's a, a thin line. It's a gray line because Candy did get burnt. Uh, with that tardy with the party mess, and uh, hell, she not doing never call me. I would tell her, uh, uh, charge that trick, charge that trick. Okay, you 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 make you up a schedule of services you can provide when it comes to producing music and arrangements and stuff, and you take it from there. Cause everybody, you know, unless they your family members now, or people that you choose to be a part of your family, you know, not biological, but you just like them, you love them, and you just incorporate them into your life. Now. You know, you may not have to charge them all what you would like to charge another person. Or you may just give it to them pro bono, free. You know, I'm doing it because I love you. You know, I want you to succeed. But when it comes to working with, you know, like I say, co-workers, it can, you, you got to understand that fine line uh, to whether you should charge a certain amount or uh, this is your going rate no matter who you are. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, nah, Marlo, she's never going to tell you and probably never tell the world how she gets down and get her money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, and you are much, well, I ain't going to say much younger, but you're younger than Candy. You you say you know about business. Uh, if you're trying to get Lake Ar Archive up, you have some business since there. So, are you going to tell us how you uh, studied, envisioned, and implemented the Lake Archive? So, see, it goes both ways. It cuts both ways, baby. Uh, but that's all that I really had to say about that. So, uh, Carlos King is really messy, messy, messy. And I thought he was on, uh, Candy side. But it shows that he's just on a winning side wherever he can get the money to do what he needs to do. But we're going to go into a particular article. I'm trying to see which one I want to use that was talking about this story. Okay, let's just use Yahoo.News. So, we're going to give them a shout out and shadow and act. I think they're both um, combined uh, of their talents in writing this story. But we're going to say it's from Brenda Alexander. We like to, Hakeem Pyre says, cite our sources. And if y'all haven't um, seen Kim Pyre uh, videos and blogging and he has a podcast, go on over there and tell him uh, Dale Chanel's what is world sent y'all over there he's a i like him i watch him every day just to see what's the comments and goings on certain things and he's a good blogger i like him real well so y'all go on now it's just kempire k-e-m-p-i-r-e -E. uh but uh it says uh candy bird slams marlo hampton after saying she should do more for the community i'm tired of her bullshit all right that's my favorite word too bullshit okay and i, I think in high school we had uh, a group of People we used to hang around, you know how you say your cliques and stuff. It was uh these athletic uh, guys we used to hang around, and they used to call themselves bull nuts. The only reason why they uh called themselves bull nuts was because they liked the beer, they liked it uh peanuts, and their favorite word was bullshit. So <laughs> just a little background story on who I used to hang around back in the high school days. Um, but anyway, um, it says Marlo Hampton waited ten years to get her peach. And it seems like the Real Housewives of Atlanta star is doing everything in her power to keep it. As season 14 unfolds, her reported beef with Candy Burris is building. But after Hampton recently made comments about Burris' lack of input in the black community, Burris snapped back. All right. But one thing I can say about what Marlo is doing, if it's just a fake storyline they're giving us and it's supposed to heighten up us to continue watching the real housewives of atlanta until it gets to that certain point her and marlo had started going throat for throat uh, throat for throat throat and below the belt type of hitting because she said they had after everything had aired the uh taping was wrapped up and they had fi finished uh, filming for si season 14, she said that they were back on good terms. And my thing is, are they really back on good terms? Was this all a smoke screen? Or y'all were on good terms to after y'all shut down filming, and then y'all were back good, but then something else happened that speeded up the uh, more uh, dramatization that y'all trying to give us. See, I, it, it can go both ways. Y'all have both different perspectives of, who doing what? You know what I'm saying? But I can't say. I would have to say it's, it's real what's going on now between them. Because, you know, Candy has a telltale sign. 
uh, and that's bad because she couldn't bluff people. Uh, when she gets angry or very upset, she her voice start crackling like she finna start crying, and she then she turned into a bitch. You know, one of the negative bitches. We don't, we don't like those. We, we we ain't got time for you because we don't know if you being you know. Your alter ego finna check out on us and you finna go ham and be putting hands on folk just like Porsche was doing. Now you can't do that. They have laws against that. You see what I'm saying? So, I don't know. I just need her to grow a little bit more and stop that crackling. Because when you say something, that's what you mean, shit. And if you need to prove it, it can happen that way too. Which one? Hands? Or we can just uh, settle it verbally. The hands is going to get us both in trouble and we need bail money. <laughs> okay? So, we ain't got no bail money. Then we're going we gonna to just stay between the lines or I'm going to get in you verbally as much as I can until I can break you, your spirit or whatever. And that's pretty much what um, Marla was done and did very well. Very well, Atha. I'm just confused. Can it been on Real Housewives of Atlanta? She know how B starts. And she know when it, the, the stuff is be heightened up for the negative. And, you know, she should already be thinking what she going to say. But, you know, she always kind of put, put you in the mind of Portia. She always want to take things to the streets. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, baby, you, you got more to lose than Marlo. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got your brand. You got your sponsorship. You know what I'm saying? You got your clout in, in, in the industry. No, nah, baby. Don't let that Marlo tip you too high uh, where you want to go off the rails. Because, see, you may not go to jail, but you may lose some money that you're going to have to be paying Marlo under the table for not present charge. Because I'm sure Kenya Moore got her. Ka-ching, 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 ka-ching. Yes. Registering all in her bank account when Portia did what she did to her. But anyway, going back to the article, it says, uh, Though just a few episodes have aired thus far, it's clear that Burris is Hampton's target. The late archive owner recently spoke with Carlos King on his reality with the King podcast where uh, her ongoing feud with Burris was discussed. Hampton has com complained that Burris is too sex positive and a mix on the show and all that she's annoyed by the content of constant sex talk and sex, sex toy business of Burris. Do some shit for the black community, she's stating, Marlo. Uh, we got enough babies and diseases out here. We don't need no shit else but sex candy, she told uh, Carlos King. Ha uh, Hampton also added, you fuck out in Atlanta, okay? I mean, she's uh, had a lot of lovers, a lot of, you know, I guess, twists or uh, open marriages type things. And she said she has too, so she can admit it. She called you out, Candy, but she also called out herself. The latter jab is seemingly due to rumors that Burris got around before marrying her husband, Todd. Okay, everybody got a pass. We ain't going to blame nobody for their past. Just hopefully they learn so they won't be currently doing stupid shit and they won't take it on into the future. Okay? But can it down with those NDA clauses or those NDA waivers she want people to sign? And if you go and say, I did this, that, and the third, and I know it's true, but you sign this uh, little thing here saying you're not supposed to even whisper a peek of what we did. And if you do, litigation will come right to your doorstep. So she's good about doing that. Uh, then Candy Burris reacts. Burris has been open about feeling blindsided by Hampton's actions toward her this season, especially as she's been a major advocate for Hampton to become a full-time peach holder. She's typically taken a high road, but Hampton's uh, recent comments have her up in arms. Uh, she gets on my nerves, or really, she said, you get on my motherfucking nerves. I'm tired of her bullshit, the 46-year-old told the neighborhood top. I have been doing way more for the community than all of them. I don't mind saying it. I put all my businesses in black communities so I can bring more jobs to our community. What's, what's she doing? Let's hand out the sidebar, sidebar, red flag, red flag. Uh, you do put your companies or businesses in black, uh, around in the black community. However, you are not paying them well, okay? So let's not get it twisted. We can't live off no 725, but you say you help in your community. No, ma'am, no sir, no lord. We need you to up, up, up the ante on that uh, starting salary, okay? If you really want to voice or voice your uh, or boast about uh what you do for the community so let's let's keep it let's keep it a book baby let's keep it a book if you ain't playing y'all your staff 12 to 13 hours you ain't doing shit you're doing a little bit but you ain't doing enough shit because can't nobody live off no 725 girl can't nobody live off no stuff hell a, a teenager can't live off 725 okay now i'm just saying i'm keeping 100 all right moving on um let me see 
Burris was emotional during the interviews. Fans were wanting to see how things would continue to unfold on the show. Okay. And that was pretty much it about that particular article. Uh, but like I said, you know, Marlo told no lies. She she really didn't tell any lies and she called her own self out. But uh, Candy was saying something else I was going to bring a point on. Yeah, she made a point about Marlo is always there to help her when it comes to her uh, food drives or her candy cares organization and stuff of that matter. I said, well, Candy, why are you, uh, you you putting more good things on Marlo? You're supposed to be really tearing her down, but what, how did that how did that slide in? You gave her one good point, saying she uh, helps you out, just like you were saying you help her out. She but she come over there and she help you out, so. I don't know where that, that transpired. I think you misspoke there. But <laughs> when you usually in battle, in arguments with a person, you don't up them on whether they did this, that, and third good for the community. You try to tear their asses down and have them seen in a negative light. But I, I, I don't know what you were doing that day, girl. What you drinking, girl? What you smoking on the ooh wee? I'm just saying. Because you, you lost me right there. I was like, I was on your team for a minute because you started telling us you trying to uh, break down your receipts and shit. And can the technical truth? Yeah, show what you do, baby. It, it'll help with the RS as well when you do that too. Because then they can show, say you show and improve it and they can give you your discounts with your taxes and stuff. Um, you you can broadcast that. You, you ain't uh, tooting your own horn when you do shit like that. It kind of makes us more conscious of what you do do. And to, we become more uh, respectful of understanding where you're going with uh, everything you try to do for the black community. You know, so, uh, yeah, start showing and proving so people know what you do. Everything don't have to be left in the dark. You can bring it out. It's light. If it's good, you have in the community shit, flaunt your own. Flaunt yourself, honey. Show and prove. Show and prove. Everybody else do it. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, mm, I don't know about that. I just don't know. I don't know. I'm still on the fence. Because, you know, like I said, Candy usually don't get disturbed until something has really hit her home. And I don't, for the life of me, I cannot understand why these people that are on reality shows, they feel that they friends. I'm like, girl, this love and war. This is, uh, we're in the battlefield. This is, no holes barred, okay? Everybody's fighting for their position on these reality shows. They don't want to be re replaced. Go where they going to go? Where they going to go? If they ain't set up something real nice, uh, like a, um. Uh, a business that they really can get in after the reality shows have gone and it can still sustain the business uh meaning they definitely uh save their money and put their money into good use where it's it's making money for them even if it's just sitting there you know what i'm saying but uh yeah most of these people on these reality shows i mean what would they do if they weren't on this reality show what would they have to do after the, the thing has closed down, mm -hmm. shut down, and they're no longer reality stars. You see what I'm saying? So, <coughs> they, they, to me, they just need to stop it. Uh, saying they got a friendship here and there. When you know, in order to stay in good graces with the show's producers, you got to cut up sometime. So, if you don't want to cut up, then, you know, it just is what it is. But Marlo coming strong and hard. And we know Kenya going to always get a... Um, Return back. Because <laughs> when she had to pull the rabbit out of her ass. Because shit is just dried up. She come and she show and she proves And she just turns the shit out. Okay. We can always depend on Miss Kenya more. Okay. Miss Kenya Summer more. Alright. Don't know who she is. Google her. You'll find out real fast. Alright. But that's all I got for this particular um, video guys. Y'all like it. Love it. Gotta have more. Uh, definitely hit my channel up. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that like button. Uh, put the clap, put your hands together, clap, sing a little song. Uh, sing a happy song, sing a happy song. Yes, come on back over to the channel. You know I'm be cutting up, saying something or another. Uh, then you go to the other channel, make it make sense, cause over there we have plenty of pictures and and a commentary, because we be trying to understand what's going on that we're seeing in front of our eyes, and sometimes we can't make no sense out of it. But see, that's my other channel. Then you have one that's uh, called Just the Two of Us, you and I, or you and me. Hell, I don't know. I think it's a Just the Two of Us. Shit, I, go go to one of the channels and <laughs> figure it out. But show what name my channel again. 
you and me just us two and it has the two cute little avatars on it uh and, and go over there and get some laughs because actually i am on screen i'm on the camera my daughter just like to film that way hell i don't because you always got to try to look pretty and shit but uh, I don't want to do that. You know, I just want to come in, be in my night clothes, and just be talking shit to the fam, okay? That's all I do. And I, I, I got to lose some weight, y'all, because I, I was looking at my, myself. I ain't got no neck. <laughs> I ain't got no neck, girl. I'm like, man, where the hell my neck at? Woo. But uh, that's, you have to scrutinize yourself before somebody else try to scrutinize. You know what I'm saying? You got to know about self and know that worth all right but yeah if you ever want to come look, look or see what i look like and whatever there you go i'm out there tripping with my daughter okay because we do cut up all the time hey we got a hilarious family if you really want to know the truth <laughs> Woo! we always have something to uh, talk about about the comes and goings when we're not together whatever some was very funny and they enlightened the rest of the family we just have one big you know fist party we'll be getting for ass a roast party i should say but um that's all i have on this video guys like it love it gotta have more uh i'll see y'all next video Bye bye